The Cottonwood County Citizen proudly presents Athlete of the Week. At Wyndham Area Health, our mission is to improve health and customer experience through individualized quality care, visionary leadership, and progressive teamwork. We offer a comprehensive range of inpatient and outpatient services and programs to meet the needs of our patients and community. Call 507-831-2400. Dedicated to health, it's Wyndham Area Health. I'm joined right now by Wyndham freshman Hadley Sammons, our Athlete of the Week this week. Congratulations, Hadley. Thank you. Let's go back to Saturday's game and, uh, you know, first game of the year. And, and you know, for, for, your, for the team, um, a lot of newcomers. And, and honestly, you're one of them. And so first career start, I imagine there's some nerves going on there. What what was that? What was it like? Uh, you know, knowing that uh, you're kind of being counted on to jump right in and contribute. I was really nervous at first, but then when the game started, they kind of went away. Like you just overthink at first, and then when you're in, they kind of all go away. Mm -hmm. Offensively, uh, you guys got off to a little bit of a slow start, but um, the one thing Coach Johnson told me when I when I talked to him after the game was you guys were able to turn defense into offense, and that really seemed to get everybody settled in. Yes. Um, tell me about your role on on uh, the defense and making that happen. Um, my role is we just need to turn over the ball a lot and like get stops, and then our offense can get set up on the other side and push the ball up up the floor more. Mm -hmm. And Offensively, you know, Hills Beaver Creek uh, paid a lot of attention to KJ, and rightly so. I mean, she's a she's a, the one veteran scorer that you guys had. Yeah, the, all that attention was on KJ, leaves you wide open. Mm -hmm. um, how how was what was it like for you in the first half, knowing that you're able to cut through that defense and get to the basket? Um, I just had to create open spaces and. Uh, create shots for KJ still as she had more defense on her. And and really that's kind of one of going to be one of your big roles as the season goes forward is, you know, I, I guess I envision it kind of like uh, Allison Letcher's role last year in that driving into the lane, scoring when you can, but attracting defense and being able to set KJ up. Yeah. Um, but when the defense doesn't collapse on you, the scoring opportunity is there. You did you realize you had 26 points in the first half? No, I <laughs> it just you just you know, it, I, I guess it was one of those games, and and honestly, watching it, it didn't really seem like you had that many. And then I look up the scoreboard at halftime. Um, but uh second half they adjusted. And what were they doing differently in the second half? They were getting back on defense. They were, they switched their defense on us. Like they had more girls going into the paint more because we didn't shoot like threes. We just drove. So mm -hmm. they changed their defense. Um, but that opened things up for KJ. It opened it up for Kendall. Um, you know, it opened up for, for Jenna and Hannah. And, you know, Jenna and Hannah didn't score, but those shots are going to fall for them eventually. But it also opened it up for your posts. And, uh, and your posts both really had a nice game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Coming into this season, um, you know, you, you saw really limited varsity time last year. Um, but you're able to practice against Allison and, and Delaney and Gracie and Jaden every day in practice last year. How valuable was that for you going into this year? And... You know, I know that you play AAU ball. How? What was that experience like, and how valuable was that coming coming into this season? It was really like really good because they made me a better basketball player by playing defense and not just giving me easy like easy practices. They still played the same as they would on everybody else. Mm -hmm. And AAU, 
it's so fun because all the girls are like competitive and they all want um, to be the best and uh, they don't give other people easy like chances. Are you going to run into any of those teammates during the course of the season this year? Yes, I did last night. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, and obviously last night was a, was a tough one against Fairmont, but, uh, you know, for a young inexperienced team, there's going to be some ups and downs. Um, what's going to be key for you to kind of navigating through those ups and downs and to become a consistent player by the time playoffs roll around? Just keep a positive attitude and encourage my teammates when they're down and keep their heads up. Looking ahead uh, for, for you guys, you know, you've got Heron Lake, Okabina, Fulda on Friday. Um, you've got uh, Tri-City United, I believe, on, on Saturday. And honestly, I don't know anything about them. But then next week you get Worthington. And uh, Worthington is a team that they've got some some big, tall, talented players they always give Wyndham a hard time. What's it going to be? What's it going to take to, to knock off Worthington next week? Um, we're going to have to create good defense, uh, create open shots, drive, um, talk in transition, and just um, practice their like stuff in practice and just go into it with a positive mindset. Probably when I went in for my first time on varsity and got to play with like all the older kids. My playlist, um, all Taylor Swift. Laverne, I think Laverne, yeah. I would say always bringing energy to practice and always being like happy even when we're losing by a lot. I like to play outside with the dog and go on runs and stuff. That's that's fun. Well, that should be all we need. Uh, congratulations on a on a tremendous varsity, you know, first start uh, last week. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. At Wyndham Area Health. Our mission is to improve health and customer experience through individualized quality care, visionary leadership, and progressive teamwork. We offer a comprehensive range of inpatient and outpatient services and programs to meet the needs of our patients and community. Call 507-831-2400. Dedicated to health, it's Wyndham Area Health.